Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Dictator Dan says I gotta wear a mask, otherwise I can get into big trouble. That's right. Let's have a look, we're in Melbourne, we're in Flinders Lane guys. What's going on? Let's go and have a look. They're going through a famous little precinct here, this is for breakfast. And it's still very quaint. Masks, you've got to wear the mask. Let's have a look here, guys. It's uh, kind of annoying. Look at this place. Phew, these masks are annoying. Any Rolex steel sports? No Rolex. Rolex is what I want. Rolex steel sports, guys. We're going out. We're going to see if we can get Rolex Steel Sports. That's what we want, guys. Rolex Steel Sports. That's what we're after. We've landed in Melbourne. We've thrown our bag into the hotel. And now we want to get Rolex Steel Sports. That's it. That's what we want to do. It's a chilly day in Melbourne. And uh, let's have a, a sticky beak. Now, I'm not going to be able to film inside the locations, but I'll be reporting back any joys that I have. And uh, I got a feeling it's going to be a bit few and far between. First stop, watches of Switzerland. Let's see if we can get a steel sports Rolex. What do we want? Explorer 1 would be great. Milgauss, the Z Blue. Uh, Air King, would I go for an Air King? I'd go for an Air King. Explorer 1 would be the premium. That's what I'd say. Explorer 1 would be premium. Premium squeeze to get there. Premium squeeze. Explorer one so This is the uh, the hope I got my credit card. It's all paid out. I want to buy Rolex steel sports Do you think I can? Do you think I can get one? Am I feeling lucky do I feel lucky today? That is the question. That's what you've got to ask yourself Do you feel lucky? And hey, there's a Milgauss it's for exhibition only. That's a bit unfortunate. Steel sports, steel sport. Hey guys, what can I say? I tried, I tried, and I gotta be honest with you, I went on the waiting list. No steel sports. No steel sports for Archie at Watches of Switzerland. They did take my details. They put me forward for a, a Milgauss. They had a Milgauss. I said, hey, I'd love one of those. So uh, let's see, let's see what happens. You never know your luck in the big smoke. So we're just looking around Melbourne now. A bit discouraged there. No steel sports, no steel sports. Um, phew. what can you say? No steel sports. Put my name down on a waiting list. What can you say or do? That's how it goes, I'm afraid. That's how it goes. It's very frustrating. It's frustrating, but that is, that is life. That is life. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, you're Pontiff. It's Pontiff Archibald Chesterfield III, 
coming to you live from Collins Street in Melbourne. We're in Melbourne. What are we doing today? Rolex Steel Sports. Rolex Steel Sports. We want to get our Steel Sports Rolex. Uh, come down to Melbourne. There's no stock in Brisbane. Come down to Melbourne. That's sort of the cultural hub. They've had lockdown. I thought they'd be really keen to sell a uh, a, uh, a Milgaus or a Explorer 1, Explorer 2, Pepsi, Hulk, Kermit. Well, no, not Hulk. Kermit, Kermit, new Kermit. Uh, unfortunately, no. No, 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 no. No steel sports. No steel sports. That's the way it goes. No steel sports. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, what's going on? I'm looking for Rolex Steel Sports. Let's have a look around. So I've come down to Melbourne, having a bit of a sticky. It's nice, it's actually beautiful weather. The weather is really cool. What have we got across the road? We've got the Hourglass. The Hourglass. I've been knocking on their door. Unfortunately, no Steel Sports available for me, but we tried. And they've actually opened a new store across the road. This is in Collins Street, 252. It's the old Kodak building. And I, I gotta tell you, it is actually pretty damn beautiful. This is the, 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 the beautiful, it's an old Art Deco building. This was Kodak headquarters, Australasia. <clears throat> Beautifully renovated building. Uh, really nice. And I went and said hello. They went and they said hello to me. And uh, I got to tell you, that they were very cool. They're really hip guys. Uh, they were nice. They were really nice there. So I've I've got to say honestly, I had they were they were they were actually really cool. I went in there. They had a platinum five one nine six Patek Philippe there. Beautiful watch. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Unfortunately, they put my actually they put my name down. Put my name down. We'll see what happens. We've got a relationship going. We'll see. Um, now let's have a. We'll keep walking around here. What else is going on in Melbourne? So, the hunt for steel sports. That's what we want. Steel sports Rolex. Steel sports. Steel sports. We'll just have a a walk around. We're going to see what happens here. It's it's COVID times and. This is this is the new the new normal. So uh, yeah, steel steel sports steel sports is what we want. We want steel sports Rolex. Steel sports, steel sports, steel sports, steel sports. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. In Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney, Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co, that is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co. Hey, guys. Archie Luxury. How are you? It's all good today. It's uh, We're in Melbourne. I'm in Melbourne on the hunt for Rolex Steel Sports. And uh, i got to say, the weather is really beautiful. It's really beautiful. We've got the trams going. We've got, uh, this is a really, really beautiful city. And uh, these poor buggers down here, they had lockdown, eight o'clock, 8 p.m. curfews. Man, dictator Dan, labor governments. There's nothing like a left-wing government to, to set the rules straight. <clears throat> and uh, here we are now. So it's it's a bit different. I gotta tell you, it is, it is pumping and jumping. It's all, it's all moving. Melbourne, Melbourne. So I decided to come down. Unfortunately, the Rolex situation is very bleak. There is no steel sports, steel sports. It's very, very, very hard. 
I went to Watches of Switzerland, went to Hourglass. I didn't make it to Kennedy's. I was going to go to Kennedy's, but I was just so disillusioned. Nobody's got any steel sports. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? That's a good question. Unfortunately, there is no easy answer. So, uh, steel sports, steel sports, steel sports. And uh, it's, it's just tough. This is the way the world works. So uh, it's, this is how it is there. Beautiful architecture in Melbourne. It's nice weather. In Brisbane, it's 30 odd degrees. It's pretty damn awful. But uh, <clears throat> down here, the weather's actually quite nice. It's a beautiful day in Melbourne. Absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous weather. I don't mind having a bit of a look around here. One of my favorite brands, JLC. <clears throat> JJ Lecout. Shager Lecoutre. What a cool brand. Absolutely gorgeous brand. I really do love my Reverso Grand Date. And uh, I gotta say, this is the, the Melbourne Boutique. I'll have a bit of a, a sticky here. There's a beautiful couple of JLCs, a Polaris Memovox, and the chronograph in gold. Wow, look at that. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel. Just going to see my friend at European Watches. European Watches. Shawnee, European Watch Gallery. I'm just going to cross here, make sure the trams don't hit us. And we'll take a sticky beak. So down in Melbourne, it is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful is beyond belief here. So let's go and see if we can, we can get Shani to come out and say hello to us. We'll see if he's in today. Very interesting, interesting Christmas period here. It's going to be good. Let's have a look. They're here. Oh wow, they're here. Let's have a sticky beak. I'll come inside and say hello to the shiny.